there, this is Meg Stickle from AIM Fitness and you'll notice that I'm on the floor. So we're gonna be doing some awesome exercises to improve your flexibility and your strength. So for these exercises, if you are comfortable, I invite you to join me on your mat. If you prefer to exercise on your bed or your couch, you can definitely do that too. So we will be using some weights for this workout. And a special shout out to Anne for requesting more of these videos. So I'm glad that you guys are enjoying the advanced workouts and especially the ones on the floor. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start by circling your shoulders backwards and sit in a position that feels good for you. For me, I'm able to cross my legs and this feels pretty good, but for some of you, you'd maybe prefer to have one leg out or sit any way that feels good for you on the floor. All right, let's change directions. We're gonna go the other way. All right. Very good. Now from here, we're gonna be placing one hand beside you on the mat and we're gonna bring one arm up for a nice stretch, stretch all the muscles down the side of your body. And then we're gonna be bringing that hand to the floor and switching to the other side. All right. Notice a nice deep stretch in the side of your torso. Breathing in and out. All right, good, let's do just a few more. And one more per side. All right, from here we'll bring those hands together and we're gonna be twisting side to side. Now for some of you, this may be more comfortable, is doing this with your legs. Extending your legs, bending your knees slightly, and pointing your toes up to the ceiling and then stretching side to side. All right, so we really wanna to listen to our bodies as we're exercising today and just do what you can. It's good. This is a really good one to warm up the core as well. We'll do three more here, two, and one. All right, good. Let's bring those legs back in or whatever feels good. Hands on your shoulders and circle those arms back. So we're really focusing on mobility of our shoulders and our arms before we add on the weights. Good, let's go the other way. Good job, let's do three, two, and one. All right, good. Now from here, we're gonna be going onto our hands and knees. Now I will show you a tip if you are someone who is using a mat. What I like to do is I like to double up the mat. So you can do this. Double up, it'll be a little more gentle on your knees. Okay, or you can always grab a pillow and put your a pillow under your knees. So what we wanna do here is we want to start by bending one elbow and we wanna take that uh, elbow up towards the ceiling, working on mobility and stretching and then bring that elbow towards that other arm. So as we're doing this, we're rotating at your waist, looking up towards the ceiling and then lowering that elbow down towards the mat. Inhale and exhale. All right, very good. You may feel a little bit stiff to begin with, but the more you do this, the greater flexibility that you'll have. You also might hear a little bit of cracking too. <laughs> I'm hearing some cracking. All right, two more. And one. Good. All right, let's lean back on those uh, on your legs. Circle your wrist to stretch it out. And then we'll do the other side. Bending that elbow, lifting your elbow up towards the ceiling, and then angle it down towards the floor. Inhale and exhale. Let's do 
three more. I'm curious if you're more flexible on this first or the second side. All right, last one here. All right, good. Let's plant both hands down. And we're going to be moving to the cat and the cow. So we're going to round your back and then arch your spine, looking up. Now, if you have osteoporosis, you're going to, want to, going to do a smaller round and a smaller flexion. But if you're able to, let's increase that to really stretch your tailbone and all the way to the top of your head. Let's breathe in as you round. Breathe out and relax. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's do three. And two. And one. All right, let's sit back again. Circle your wrists. And we're going to grab one of your weights. All right. So let's make our way back down to um, with your hands planting firmly onto the mat and grab that one weight. We're going to be working our shoulder. So what I want you to do is I want you to bend your elbow and lift that weight and then lower to the floor. So we're working on improving our back and shoulder strength with this great exercise. Now see if you can pause just a few inches from the floor so that you're not touching. Good. Now we're just gonna do about five to six per side, and this will take off a little bit of that pressure that can be on your, on your wrists. Let's do the other side, we'll do six here. So six. Breathing in, breathing out. Three more. Two. And one. And let's sit back and circle those wrists out. And then we'll move to the other side. Let's do six more per side. Here we go. Bending, lifting that weight, bending your elbow. Slowly lowering down, but not touching to the floor. Two more. And one. Set it down. Pull your wrists again and switch to the other side. Straightening the arm, bending that elbow, feeling this in the back. Three more. Two. And one. All right, looks good. Sit back again, make a fist, stretch out those hands. And then reach those arms in front, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Reach and squeeze. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable to sit like this, you can always shift your weight over to one side. Or go back to crossing your ankles or crossing your uh, legs. Let's do three, two, I'm sure you feel this, that's good. And one. All right, awesome. So next what we're gonna do is we're going to move on to our back to do a few more exercises with the weights. So one of the easiest ways is to shift onto your hip. Choose your good hip. If you've had a hip replacement, keep that side up. And then we're going to be moving on to our back. Nice and gentle. You'll need both weights. Good to think ahead, <laughs> have them handy. All right, awesome. So I encourage you to bring your feet in a little bit closer to you. Closer to your bum. Have your arms pressed into the floor. We're gonna start with the bridge. So we're gonna start by lifting up those hips, pressing through your thighs, squeezing your glutes, pressing your hands into the floor, holding it up, and then lowering down. As you press up, tighten up your core and squeeze your glutes. All right, we're gonna do just a few more of these. 
just to warm up the legs, and then we're going to add the arms in, in just a sec. Do two more. And one. And lower down. All right, let's grab one weight to start with. We're going to hold on to that weight, and I want you to rise up again. So I want you to squeeze your, your core and glutes, straighten the arm, arms, <laughs> and then bend your elbows. Now try not to hit your head, but we're going to straighten the arms here, and then bend the weight down towards the floor. So this is a really good one. You should feel some burning happening in your, in your glutes, in your legs. And we're working our triceps, the back of the arms. Breathe in. And out. Now, if you're finding your legs are dying and you need a bit of a break for your lower body, you can lower your hips down to the floor and just continue with the, uh, with the weight. But if you're up for the challenge or if you're doing this a few times, ready for it. Keep those hips lifted off the floor. Good job. Let's do three, two, and one. All right. This is when you will feel tomorrow in your legs. All right. That's good. Let's lower the weight for a sec. And we're going to be bringing your hands together and angle those arms wide. You'll need a bit of space. Make sure you have enough space here. We're going to be bringing those arms out to the side and then hands in in out so we're going to be doing the same motion with the weights in just a sec all right warming up the arms first three two inhale and exhale and one all right let's grab your weights make sure you don't you're not too close to a wall or anything knock over all right so here we go holding on to those weights and we want to have your palms facing each other keep your elbows bent and bring those arms wide now don't touch your elbows or your arms to the floor okay all right so you should feel this in your chest feel this in your arms Inhale and exhale. Now, those of you who want an extra challenge, what you can do is lift those hips up off the floor again, holding that lower body nice and firm and secure. Inhale and exhale. Okay, let's go for three more. Two. There's the wall. <laughs> One. And let's lower those hips down first and then slowly lower the weights beside you. All right, let's stretch it out. Bring those arms overhead. Good. Lower the arms down. Again, reach up. All right, the next one we're going to do is this. We're gonna have those hands and arms nice and wide and we're going to be doing our press, overhead press. All right, also working our chest and our pecs, shoulders too. It looks like this. Let's have those elbows nice and wide. Now you don't wanna to touch your elbows to the floor. We're gonna press up and tap those weights together. Tap and then take your elbows nice and wide. Good. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. You may feel your arms, uh, your arms may feel a little wobbly. Good. Now, especially in women, we tend to lose a lot of upper body strength in our chest, especially. So this one you may need to build up to. We're starting with just a few repetitions today, but the next time you do this video, see if you can do a few extra. Good. Let's do three, two, and one. 
All right, good. Now slowly lower your weights down. Move them to the side. All right, and we're gonna do a few seated stretches. So I invite you to turn to the side, push yourself up. Good. All right, find a comfortable position. And we're gonna be doing a few arm circles. Notice how you're feeling. All right, excellent. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling inspired to do a little bit more on the floor. Take out that mat, dust it off. And then we're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades back, arms in, inhale, and exhale. One more time. Good. All right, and like we started with, let's bring one hand here, really give it a good stretch, a good reach to the side. Good. And the other side, reach up, stretch. And lower the arm. All right, give yourself a big hug, pat on your back. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one, bye. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Meg Stickle from AIM Fitness and this is Fit Finley. And we hope you enjoyed this video brought to you by Macaw. Now make sure to check out the other videos on their website. And if you're looking for more exercise videos with me, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Activities in Motion, AIM Fitness. We hope you have a wonderful day and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.